Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about this life-changing experience for me. Not because of the racing, but because of what I thought about after the race cooled off a little bit. You also have this problem at some level, so watch this until the end. As you can see, I'm starting P2. I got a little bit tensed up here because I did give a little bit too much space for the attacking P3. That was my mistake, but I ended up keeping the position so I will be able to catch up and maybe fight for P1. The thing about this race, and this is the life-changing thing, is I figured out a problem, a big problem with my driving. And this is one of the most dangerous bad habits that you can have because it can hurt you in the long term. It is physical tension. Do not underestimate the importance of this realization, okay? Because this race was a week before today, the day I'm recording, and uh, I'm still working on that. I, I figured something out a week ago, and I'm still obsessed about it because I can feel that it is helping me. You know that racing technique takes a lot of time to improve when you figure something out that is new to you because it's not familiar, right? So you end up having to apply that for a long time and you have to actively think about that before it really sinks in and becomes part of your natural automatic driving. I know that after reflecting and developing what I discovered here, I will gradually improve and break one more plateau in my driving. At this point, I'm still trying to catch up to P2. Uh, some laps went by, I just fast forwarded around three laps and I'm very close to him. So because I'm chasing him, I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm just trying to drive as fast as I can, but pretty much using my own automatic driving. Uh, it's very difficult to, to try new things when you're racing. Supposedly, it's better for you to just do what you trained, what you practiced. Otherwise, you might be inconsistent and maybe even crash. So there is a little bit of a danger uh, in trying to go too fast or to change too much your driving in the race, during the race. But something will happen and that will change everything. Look at what happens with P1 right now. This is where the race changes completely and allows me to realize something very important. I think I should be aiming for low threes here. Let's try to practice. Now that I'm pretty comfortable in the lead, I have a little bit of extra space in my brain to try things. Of course, I'm still not going to change too much my driving, but I have some room to think, to reflect. And that is where things get interesting. I knew I was slow. I am very slow in these GT3 cars because I don't drive them a lot. Uh, but it, it is actually a good thing to be exposed to a car that I'm slow because it helps me figure out why I'm slow. It kind of over exposes my technical problems. Guys, I just found out my problem. I just figured out my problem. And it's the same thing I tell you guys in the coaching sessions. It's the same thing that my coach told me in real life. I, I'm tensing up. My arms are getting rigid when I'm driving on the most dangerous bits and I don't feel the car. I just need to relax my hands more. Not, not, not the hands, the arms and shoulders. That's where I need to relax. Like as soon as I relaxed more, I figured out I could feel a lot more, which is actually a very difficult thing to do. Look at that, I just relaxed. Guys, I did not try to go fast in this corner. I just relaxed and that's almost three tenths quicker. Because I relaxed. I'm going to focus on that. I might even crash, but I'm going to focus on relaxing for this lap. You see, at, the, at this point, I'm so excited about this realization that I really don't care about the race anymore. I'm really surprised about how I can relax even more. You might even think that you don't tense up, that you're fine. But there is more. You can improve on this. It's very difficult to reach perfect relaxation. It's very, very difficult. I'm saying that because... I have 16 years of piano playing. I have a master's degree in piano technique. I play classical pianos. I already played with orchestras. And I know that I still tense up after 16 years of so many teachers telling me, relax. Now, what I'm going to show you towards the rest of the video is what I did 
to make sure that I was focusing on that specific thing for the rest of the race. And that is trigger words. I was saying out loud the word relax because that physical sensation was now associated with the word. And every time I said that, I would then come back and feel my shoulders. So basically my shoulders were the worst place where my tension was terrible. So I was turning, I would feel that I would tense up these muscles here. And that is completely useless. You make this tense up and then your feel, your sensitivity to the force feedback is completely affected and you end up not being able to feel the details in your direct drive. Imagine having a direct drive and not being able to actually benefit from it because you're tensing up. You're, you're not allowing your body to feel the details that the uh, equipment can provide to you. Tensing up, tensing up, relax. Relax. Relax, relax under braking. Yeah, going downhill is the worst. Uphill, it kind of helped a little bit. It felt less stressful when I actively relaxed. This is my practice session. I'm gonna tell myself to relax. Just relax your arms. Relax. Almost no force is needed. Just a little bit of force to move the wheels around, nothing else. Then stop a little bit on entry. No need of that. Relax. Okay, going up the mountain, we're going to relax. Relax, just relax, let it go wide. Light hands. Relax. Missed a little bit the apex there, but that was the timing. That was not the relaxation. And that's the thing. When you try to relax, it ends up... When it's not automatic, it ends up taking a little bit of your energy from something else. Lifted too much here because I'm talking. Relax. Relax. That's better. Stay on third. Super relaxed. Got on power a little bit too early and scrubbed the fronts. It's insane how tensed up I was. Because now I'm feeling weird. Like my shoulders, when I relax them, it feels weird. Now my lines are all over the place because I'm talking. So let's come back to the programming session of relaxation. So let's relax. That's a dangerous thing to do in a race, but let's do it. Relax your shoulders. Guys, you have no idea. I just felt so much the force feedback. Things that I just did not feel on that T1 when I was tensed up. I just felt it. I was able to have the, the, the brain energy to feel that. Same thing here. I can feel the force feedback. And I'm super relaxed. Super. Ultra relaxed. I just add that little force to move the wheel. Nothing else. Just relax. Relax, relax, relax. This is the most difficult part. part. Relax. Tense up a little bit. Relax, 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 relax. Missed all the apexes. Didn't really think about relaxing. I think I was distracted thinking about other things. First gear, relax. Good. I'm, I'm literally coaching myself right now. Relax under braking. Feel the force feedback on entry. Relax your shoulders. I think I'm definitely a little bit slower when I relax. And less consistent because I'm not used to being relaxed and, I, and I'm feeling new things now. 
So I need to get completely used to it before I get more consistent. But that's part of the process. Relax, 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 relax. And also, something that's, that, that's kind of helping me is feeling that my, also my face is relaxed. If my face is relaxed, it helps my shoulder relax. It's really not comfortable to do this because I'm not used to it. I'm used to doing weird faces when I'm focusing. Like a lot of people. So I'm just gonna try to feel the shoulders, the elbows, and my face. Those are the ones that, I, that I'm focusing right now. To, to try to just not use them. Because I don't need to use them. I'm gonna relax that part and let the other... The rest of my body have that remaining energy. Even when I get back on power, I need to relax and let the car go more. Prevent that oversteer there. That probably kills a little bit of exit speed. Stay on fifth. Break to third. Relax. Relax, 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 relax. Let it go wide. Relax. Okay. Relax. Use the fronts. Power early. Relax your hands. Fourth. Relax, relax, relax. Let it go. Let it go wide. Go close to the wall. Super close to the drain. Relax. Relax. Don't lift too much. Relax. Relax on the way down. Relax your hands, stay to the right. Little throttle, lots of trail braking. Stay on third, feather the brakes, then brake hard. First, relax your hands. Relax your shoulders, a little bit of oversteer there, not ideal. Wow, that was so relaxed. <laughs> That's my way to... Oh my god, where's Mark from my racing team in real life? He's gonna be proud if he sees this. He's the guy who taught me this, actually. Ten stop, ten stop. Every time I start to go wide, I tense up. It feels like me tensing up the shoulders will make the car gain grip on the front, which is so stupid. Guys, do not underestimate what I'm doing here. It's such a subtle thing that no one notices, only you. And it's so easy to just ignore and be lazy to apply it to your technique. But it makes such a difference. Relax. Relax, relax, feel the force feedback. Holy fuck, look at this grip. If you feel the force feedback with your hands, which is the light hands technique, you find more grip on the front. It kind of like creates a better connection between your steering and your brake release. Relax, 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 relax. Can't stop. I was afraid. Can't stop. I was afraid of the curb. Break too late. And can't stop when I lost the. The fronts. That was bad. Relax, 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 relax. First gear. Alright, mistakes happen, of course. But we should focus completely on the relaxation still. Relax. Ooh, relax. Don't tense up. Don't tense up. Don't tense up. Don't tense up. Messed up a little bit. Carried a little bit too much speed into the corner. I would say I would need to do this for like a full week or two to really internalize the relaxation feeling. It is helping, but it's out of your comfort zone, so you have to think actively about that, which removes your consistency. Relax, 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 relax. <sighs> okay. That was a nice session. I, I used it as a self-coaching session oh i actually had damage whoa i had no front look at my car okay that was interesting